we have four paranasal sinuses located medially in the frontal bone is the frontal sinus. We've cut out this rectangle here so that you can see where it is located. Also, from an anterior view, you can notice that we have maxillary sinuses. In order to see these, we have to take a transverse cross-section of the maxilla. And I'll go ahead and remove one from the left side so that you can see this is where the maxillary sinus sits. It's a cavity within the maxilla. So notice that that is laterally located as opposed to the medial location of the frontal sinus. So I'll go ahead and place that back there so that you can remember that. From a superior transverse view, we can see deep to the cella tersica is the sphenoidal sinus. Again, this rectangle has been cut out so that you can see the sphenoidal sinus. Notice that it, as well as the frontal sinus, are medially located. We cannot see the ethmoidal sinus from this model, so we'll move to a real skull. And you can see it slightly here. As the bone has worn away, you can see it's a lateral feature of the ethmoid bone. So this is the cribiform plate. The crystagalli is the most superior anterior region of the ethmoid bone. And so lateral to the crystagalli and posterior, you'll find several air sacs that are deep to the cribiform plate. Those are the ethmoidal sinuses. It's a bit easier to see in an isolated ethmoid bone. So here, again, our landmarks, we have the crystagalli. The cribiform plate would be here. And then these lateral features where you can see holes, those are the ethmoidal sinuses. Now if we look from a sagittal cross section, you can only see two of the paranasal sinuses the frontal sinus, as well as the sphenoidal sinus. So this is the forehead region, this is the frontal sinus, this is the pituitary gland. It sits within the cella tersica of the sphenoid bone, and deep to that is the sphenoid sinus. Notice that you cannot see the maxillary sinuses, nor can you see the ethmoidal sinuses, because they are more laterally located, whereas the sphenoidal and the frontal sinuses are medially located so they can be C in a sagittal cross-section.